Hello everyone and welcome to Development Adelaide. This is episode number five where we are focusing on Hindmarsh Stadium, also currently known as Cooper Stadium as per advertising. And uh, today we're going to be focusing on the upgrade that's currently taking place at the stadium and the surrounding area. Now in today's video we're going to be focusing on a couple of topics. So first of all we're going to be talking about the history of the area and the context of the site. We're also going to be looking at the stadium upgrade and the $53 million that's been invested by the state government. And we're also going to be looking at uh, the public realm upgrades that are going to be happening around the area. And finally we're going to conclude with the future plans in future years for this uh, stadium here. Okay, let's first of all look at the context of Highmarsh Stadium in relation to the Adelaide CBD. So Highmarsh Stadium is located to the northwest of the Adelaide CBD and it's located between the River Torrens, Port Road and South Road. Now um, it's also very close to public transport options including the tram, Bowdoin Station and numerous bus routes that run along both Manton Street and South Road. Highmarsh Stadium actually started off as an oval, with cricket and football being played. It was also the home of the West Torrens Football Club in the SANFL. As you can see in some of those photos, you've got to see the um, people playing cricket, football, and there's some works happening here to do the to um, build the pitch. Football or soccer started being played at Highmarsh Stadium in the 1960s when it became the home of South Australian football. The first grandstand was built in the 1960s with a capacity of about 2,000 people. Several national games took place at Highmarsh Stadium from then on. Floodlights were established in the 1970s, providing much needed light for night games. In 1977, the National Soccer League was launched, which provided games from both West Adelaide and Adelaide City. In the late 1990s, Hamar Stadium was redeveloped with a new Western Grandstand to increase capacity of the stadium. This was uh, constructed for the Sydney Olympic Games in the year 2000, and this artwork right here commemorates that uh, event back in September of the year 2000. And then later on, a $53 million upgrade was announced and construction commenced in 2021. This new upgrade will provide an Eastern Grandstand roof and also some more corporate facilities. The upgrade of Highmarsh Stadium is a $53 million state government commitment and will be built in three stages. The reason it's being built in three stages is so that uh, matches can still continue in the A-League and other games. Completion is expected in December 2022. Stage one of the upgrades included new change rooms, toilets, food and beverage facilities, and was completed in 2021. Stage two was the eastern stand roof, which is currently under construction. And then in stage three, there'll be new audio and screen systems, lighting, and new pitch, which is the first upgrade to the pitch since 1991. The centerpiece of the upgrade is a new, is a new roof over the eastern stand. And as you can see here, there will be some major, major changes to this area. First of all, a whole new area will be constructed here towards the um, end of the, of the stand and some of the seats down here towards the back will be removed to support the new corporate facilities being constructed. This plan here shows the ground level of the new eastern stand as it will um, look when it's all finished. There's a back of house entry here and the main corporate lobby entry will be towards Manton Street. There will also be new paving and the accessibility ramp will be removed and it's being replaced with lifts to enable people who need access support to access their sta the stadium. And this plan here shows the actual corporate facilities. You can see here the large function room, which isn't available at this moment in the uh, existing corporate facilities across on the Western Grandstand. And obviously you've got the kitchen here and bars and amenities like toilets and so forth. This is another drawing of the Eastern Stand in its final form. 
And as you can see here, the biggest change here will be the corporate facilities that are up on the top of the Eastern Stand. And obviously the outside view from Manton Street, we can see the huge glass um, windows along the street. These renders here show the Eastern Stand in its final form. As you can see, it's quite a big change from the existing setup, and this is where most people will get, will get in, into the general mission area of Highmarsh Stadium. The Eastern Stand is the, isn't the only one that's getting some attention during this upgrade. The Western Grandstand will also get some work done on it, especially the media facilities for the upcoming World Cup in 2023. First of all, you'll also see a lot of the ticketing gates will be set up a bit differently over the next coming um, over the next season. There'll also be some removal of some seats in the back of the Western Grandstand to allow for those media facilities. And there'll also be a new lift installed in at the Western Grandstand to allow for better access. These plans here show how the final form of the Western Grandstand will look. First of all, you've got a new uh, reception and merchandise area along with new um, Turn, turn styles to get into the stadium. There'll be a new food and beverage outlet right here on the ground floor. Moving on to level three, there's a new match day office. And that's very, that's very much for the World Cup in mind. And also you've got the new media facilities up on level six, which are much greater than the ones we've got at the moment. One of the important things to note about this upgrade is that the actual capacity of the stadium won't change. So as you can see here, the Western Grandstand will still be the largest stand in the whole stadium, whereas the Eastern Stand will, will continue at its existing level. Next thing is the public realm upgrades around the stadium itself. So first of all, we'll have a major upgrade for Holden Street, some minor upgrades for three close by streets, including Milner Street, Mary Street, Crawford Lane, and, be, and the works will be happening between March 2022 and December 2022. One of the other streets that will be getting a major facelift is Holden Street, right here on the western side of the stadium. The road itself will be narrowed and the footpaths widened to accommodate more uh, visitors to the area, especially those going to the stadium. The intersection of Holden Street and Susan Street will be upgraded with a raised pedestrian intersection, which will allow for step-free access towards the stadium. Looking more towards the east of the stadium, Mary Street will be getting an upgrade. Currently it's a two-lane, one-way street, which is very, very unusual to be honest. So it's great to see this happening now, whether it be just one lane in one direction, and then some more um, parking and green space set up in the existing lane that's being um, covered up. West Street, which is even further across Port Road, is also getting an upgrade. The upgrade itself will feature a um, race footpath and street, and there'll be a lot more greenery around the area as well. Now looking at some progress photos of the area. As you can see here, this is towards the start of the upgrade. New stairs were installed to provide better access from the ground to the stand itself. And this is the start of the construction of the new roof and corporate facilities. Towards the end of the season, they also started demolishing the light towers, which will be taken down and, up and upgraded. Heading into April or May 2022, this is when the main work started being constructed at the uh, stadium. So as you can see there, this is a bit of a progression of how the roof was constructed over the Eastern Stand. As well as two new screens that will be added onto the stadium, there's the existing screen towards the north of the stadium will remain in place as a scoreboard. Looking um, now at uh, some further photos, in August 2022, you can see the new light towers slowly being installed into the grounds. The entrance towards the Western Grandstand was also completely, completely gutted and new merchandise facilities will also be added to, the, to this entrance. And in the last photo here, this is where you can see the new food and beverage outlets being installed. Still looking at the August 2022 photos, you can see here that the new roof is now in place 
and the new media facilities are slowly coming together. And then more recently, you can now see that media facilities being almost completed now on the Western Grandstand and also the large towers now completed and ready to go for the new season of the A-League. One of the laneways being upgraded as part of this project is Crawford Lane right here. It connects Manton Street with Port Road. Now this uh, laneway was upgraded in previous years to better connect the stadium with the tramway but now further upgrades have been uh, completed to um, make the area even more accessible. Looking at Holden Street, and not much progress has been done to this stage, but construction is very close to commencing at this moment, uh, and this will be completed in time for the World Cup in 2023. Progress at West Street has been much faster, and it's almost completed now. You can see the um, rain gardens being completed, and the new trees come into place very, very shortly, and the road itself is almost completed now. Progress is also being made at the Mary Street upgrade as well. This is how it looked before with a two-way, two-lane setup in the parking on the left-hand side. This will be changed into a one-way, uh, one-lane setup with more greenery and parking spaces. What's the future for Highmark Stadium and football in South Australia? Well, the future is always very uncertain, but a talk of a new stadium always comes up every now and then. However, this is looking very unlikely for the, for the near future, so more upgrades for the stadium will probably happen in the next couple of years. One of the ones they're talking about seriously is a roof for the northern and southern stands, which will be great for fan amenity, especially those in the active areas. But in the meantime, we've got a really great stadium at Highmarsh as it is, and the new upgrades including the roof and the new audio and visual equipment will be a great uh, addition to the fan experience. So when the first home game comes uh, on October the 30th, I hope to see you down there and support Adelaide United in the new facilities. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.